All right, so when you cut through all the bullshit and you really get to the core of what's holding you back in some way, shape or form, it's typically fear, right? Like a lot of people, they're like, man, I just, I don't know enough yet. Well, dude, there's more information available to you than ever before. You can't hide behind that excuse. A lot of, a lot of guys will say, well, I'm not that experienced yet. Cool, go get reps. That's literally the only cure for experience. You can't use that as an excuse anymore. When you really strip down your limitations, your problems, your obstacles, if you really strip those things down, you'll find that fear is at that core of why you're not doing the things that you need to be doing. Essentially, it's fear. Now, it may masquerade as different things, anxiety, unworthiness, uh, the fear of rejection, the fear of failure, whatever, but at its core, it, it's, it's fear. And something you need to know about fear is fear gets more powerful the more you avoid it. Same things with the things you resist or the things you procrastinate. They become more powerful the more you avoid them, right? Fear is essentially like an empty room, right? Closed behind a door. And you're just so afraid to open the door because of what's on the other side of that door. You build it up in your head. Oh my God, what's on the other side of that door? It could be all this big, bad stuff. It could be, I could get judged. I could get rejected. I could fall flat on my face and be left alone and, and rot away and lose all my money, right? And then you open the fucking door and you go in and it's an empty room. That's fear, right? That's fear. Fear becomes more powerful the more you try to avoid it. But it also means that fear decreases in power the more that you fearlessly march toward it. Like a lot of people are trying to find these schemes and these plans to sidestep the things they're afraid of on the road to success. But you gotta understand the road to success, fear's in the way on purpose. Fear's in the way on purpose because in the facing of fears, you are forced to go inward and look at the pieces of yourself that you are trying to hide. You are forced to uncover the pieces of yourself that you don't think are good enough or you don't think are, are representable enough. And you're forced to go in there and put them on full display. You're forced to go in and bet on yourself. And that's a beautiful process that you need. So again, fear is not this boogeyman that is going to come and get you. Fear is here to serve you. And remember, fear can only be powerful if you avoid it. Just like shining light onto a shadow. When you face it, it dissipates. When you face it, it disappears. It goes away. So you got to ask yourself, and this is a question that not too many people are courageous enough to ask. Where would you be without fear, right? Where is fear holding you back right now? And where would you be without it? And what do you stand to gain from facing it head on, thus taking all of its power away from it?